as tourism events, leisure parks and open spaces, which is also an elected member for the Overly Board. And we had some quite lively discussion on Saturday about the future of Chester uh, following the demise of the Gateway Theatre and what's going to go in its place and the question of uh, uh, anti-social behaviour in, in Chester at the, the weekends. That may come up again today, who knows. Uh, our next panel member, you'll be able to identify him by his deep tan, is Councillor Herbert Manley, fresh from the Canary Islands this weekend. <laughs> uh, elected member for the Abbey Ward. He's responsible, very appropriately, for prosperity, <laughs> which includes employment, economic development, uh, local development framework, and housing. Then we have Councillor Arthur Harada. <laughs> Arthur oversees education and children, and uh, on Friday night's meeting at Ellesmere Port, Arthur had some very, very interesting ideas about the future of schools, uh, quite visionary ones, actually, in the IT age of the mid-21st uh, century. Uh, Arthur's uh, well ahead of the game there. Um, and uh, certainly uh, his responsibilities also cover school support services for children, including the very important issue of children in care. And uh, Arthur is also an elected member for the Overly Ward. A lot of talent coming from Overly today. <laughs> now, Councillor Neil Ritchie is responsible for the environment, which includes planning, waste collection, street scene, highways, including road maintenance, climate change and conservation. You won't be surprised to know that Neil has been working hard this weekend as the topics of gritting and potholes have been very, very prominent. Um, he, it's the, the, the size of dinner plates, they have to be the size of dinner plates to be filled in. I'm becoming a bit of an expert on this. And on Friday night in Ellesmere Port, we had a fascinating discussion because there was a lady from Siberia. <coughs> but she wasn't from Siberia, she was English, but she'd gone out and worked and lived in Siberia. And she was saying, why can't we have the sort of standards of roads of Siberia? And uh, Steve Kent, who's one of our senior officers, uh, uh, was able to say, if I could guarantee that it was minus 10 or 15 from October to March, uh, then I could provide you with the perfect roads. But it's this oscillation around the freezing point that's an absolute nightmare for highways. Very, very interesting byways that we go down at these, at these, at these meetings, but it might help to defray some of your anger uh, about the condition of our roads. Then we have the Chancellor, <coughs> Councillor Les Ford. He represents Frodham and Helsby. His area of responsibility is finance. This is the man who ultimately oversees the council's budget, and so he's very keen to hear what people have to say today. As well as the budget, he also looks after some of the council's corporate areas, such as human resources and legal affairs. And I'm also delighted to say, we weren't absolutely sure she was coming today, because she full, works full time and got children and all this other stuff. Absolutely excellent, we have Councillor Lynn Riley here. We need more people of that age and profile in local government, in my opinion. Lynn's area responsibility is for area and community services, including customer services and community safety. Lynn's an elected member for the Weaver Ward. 